The Y balance test is a gold standard test for balance. Really great for discharge and PT for ACL patients. So check out the Y balance test. And what we did is I've got Sam here who I know has got a little bit of a balance problem, but now I can check that balance by him just simply doing our motor control screen and doing a forward reach. Now the forward reach is taken from one of the movements from the Y balance test. Now what we did is when we look at all the data, the forward reach actually is one of the better representation of how well you will do in the entire Y balance test. So again, we're always trying to become a little bit more efficient, condense down the data that we can collect so we can make decisions. I would not say this is something I would do in a clinical setting on discharge. I'd want to do, stick to that gold standard Y balance. But if I'm trying to trick on exercise, try to more importantly check to see if an exercise is giving me, or giving Sam in this case, a positive benefit, then I want to use it as a pretest and a post test, maybe from one exercise session. So Sam here is getting around 21, 22. We got to keep that back heel down. And Sam, I want you to push right here. Don't push on top, push right there. He's going to push out, keep that heel down and come back. So he's about a 21, 22 on the left. Let's check the right. And we want to see at least two times your foot length. So Sam, ah, that, that heel comes up on that one. So that's not a good rep right there. So he's about 20, 21. So he's below where he needs to be because we want to see you get at least two times your foot length. So he's down on both. Both sides are about the same, a little bit below where he needs to be. A lot of balance work, a lot of things we can do. One thing we could do is actually have Sam come over here in the half roll, give him the stick to help him out here. And I'm just going to have him balance, just bring that foot up and balance. And now touch forward. And all I'm going to do is tell him to touch forward, touch back, touch side to side. And keep going, Sam, touch the other side. I'm going to let him, have it, let him have that heel come up if he wants. Just anything he can do and try to increase the distance he's reaching throughout this activity. And I would say this is almost like a warm-up. If I'm going to have Sam go and do some more lifting, this might be a good way to kind of energize that balance, that stability, so he may have a better situation when he goes and maybe does deadlifting or, or single leg deadlifting or even other type of balance activities. This could be just a good start. So now I'm going to go ahead and take that away from him and now he's really going to have to work. Now my instructions are minimal here. All I'm going to do is say maintain your balance and breathe. If you feel like you're losing your balance, try to breathe because as soon as we lose our balance, what is the first thing we do? We get, we get in that high threshold state. We kind of clench everything up and what we want to do is breathe through that. This is a little bit different than say if we're doing a big heavy lift. This is not the same thing. We're simply trying to create a little bit of core activation and stability. So I'll do this, maybe not even, I'm not talking about sets and reps. I may just have Sam go over here and do this for 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other, just gauge about how he's doing. Now, Sam, the progression here, I think Sam is fine based off him having struggling with this motor control screen. He's okay here, but as he starts to get a little better, a little bit more comfortable, if I go to Sam and say, hey, Sam, is this pretty easy? Sam, is this pretty easy? No. He's challenged by this, but the one thing I could do, hop off, if I really want to challenge a little bit more, now let's have him get right in the center of this, this way. Now he's really got a wood. Now one thing about Sam, if you've seen any of our other videos with him in it, his feet really flatten out. So this is a really good activity for him and he's really going to have to use those foot intrinsic muscles to work that. Now I'm going to have him just do the same thing. Reach forward, reach back. You could do this with shoes off. This will be a, certainly an activity I'd want to do maybe with shoes off. Keep on going, Sam. Don't let that foot land and really limit how much weight he places on that toe. Now you see he's struggling quite a bit with this one. He's not even ready to go side to side. So he's not quite ready for this. So let's do that other one for again, Sam. And let's come back and recheck and see if you got any better. Let's go back and do both sides for a couple seconds here. Because now really with the feedback I want to see is how much better has he gotten. If he hasn't, if this exercise didn't give him much positive feedback on the motor control screen, then I know this exercise is not the right choice. So I want to use my opportunity even during the first session, second session, even next week when he comes back in, take this opportunity to do a quick check when he comes in, see how he is on that baseline check, make sure he's been doing his home exercises, and then do an activity and come back. All right, Sam, let's come over here and see if you're a little bit better. It's no different than stretching. We should see a positive benefit from any type of warm-up we do, and if we're not seeing that positive benefit, then we gotta try something else. So Sam, he went a lot further, but that heel came up. So keep that heel down, go a little further, stop him right there. So he's about 24 this time. Go again. 
Stop right there. So he's, he picked up about two inches just on that. Now switch and let's see the other side. We want to see symmetry. Go ahead and push it out. Keep that heel down. So about 23, 24. So we know we made some positive improvements. And now he's met the mark that he needs to based off his two foot length distance that we're looking for. So now he's in a better situation to go and do higher levels of activity during this training session. So if we're going to do a test, which is, should help us prescribe the right exercise, which is what we want to do, always go back to that test and recheck to see if the exercise we're prescribing has given him positive benefits.